Welcome guys to the Ultimate Survivor channel. This is the channel that takes you around Africa. I teach you things that happens in Africa. I talk a lot about the animals and wildlife of Africa. And uh, the wildlife of Africa, this is what many people want to see when they embark on a journey coming into Africa, coming to safari in Africa. You want to see these animals, these amazing creatures that we have from uh, the bigger ones, the elephants, all the way to the smaller ones, the shrews. We find them in Africa. So there are some animals that looks alike. You know, these animals will confuse you. And uh, if um, you don't have a proper explanation, you can't tell which is which they look alike so in today's video i'm going to talk about these two animals that looks alike the rabbits and the hares trying to distinguish them so just stick around and enjoy so if you are new to this channel please make sure to subscribe and hit that uh, bell icon so that you are notified when we drop a new video and also when you're watching our videos don't forget uh, to give us the thumbs up the likes that will actually help us to continue giving you the content like this and it grows our channel a lot don't forget to share this channel and also the videos with your loved ones so that they know what's uh, taking place in africa so in today's video as i say that we are going to talk about the rabbits and the hares and uh, trying to distinguish how uh, they differ from one another Rabbits and the hares, they fall under the order Lagomorpha, and the family is Leporidae. So this is where we find these two animals. Okay, uh, let's start off with the rabbits. The rabbits will seek shelter and give birth in burrows, and they, they will also shelter in caves. These are the rabbits that actually the first uh, indication that this is a rabbit. Find them in the caves, find them in the burrows, giving birth there. That shows these are the rabbits and uh, their young ones are born underdeveloped. That means uh, that uh, they, are, they are born blind, naked skin and they are helpless. They can't move around. So we call this stage as an altricial stage. They are born at an altricial stage, underdeveloped and uh, they can't move around. Their eyes are closed and everything is closed. And uh, when it comes to depositing their waste, the waste management, they deposit their waste in what we call the middens or the latrine sites. Middens or latrine sites. That's where they deposit their droppings. And they have shorter legs, shorter ears, and they can't run, but they hop around. They are hoppers. And they are normally gregarious, living in large groups. Gregarious, living in large groups. And uh, they seek cover and hide when a predator comes. They seek cover and hide when a predator comes. These are rabbits. That's their anti-predator behavior. So this is what makes them differ from the hares. So if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to give us a big like. Right, let's continue. Uh, we are going into the hares. The hares uh, do not live in barrels, but they would rather lie up during the day in a hollow place that is known as a form. The place where they actually put up is called a form. It's just a hollow place. And uh, their young ones are born at a precocial stage. That means it's an advanced stage or a developed stage. So they, um, they already have fairs or hairs and they, they already have uh, an eyesight. Their eyes are open already and they can move around so easily. They are born at a precocial stage and they do not use the middens when it comes to waste management. They just drop it anywhere. It's just a random uh, thing to drop their waste anywhere. And they have long ears and long uh, legs. So they are runners as compared to the rabbits that are um, hoppers. These ones can run so quickly, and when uh, they try to dodge a predator, they run in a zigzag course. That's an anti-predator way of running away, zigzag course. And they are usually solitary. These are the hares that we have in Africa. Uh, in the whole of uh, Southern Africa, we've got uh, six indigenous species of the Lagomorphas six indigenous species of which uh, we have the smith red rock rabbit and the jameson red rock rabbit these were once one but we split as time went on then uh, the third one we have the natal red rock rabbit 
Then the fourth one is the river rhine rabbit. This is the most endangered mammal in Africa, which was introduced in um, Southern Africa from uh, Europe. And uh, the fifth one is a cape hare. Then the sixth one is the scrub hare. These are the six species of the rabbits that we have, or of the hares that we have in uh, Southern Africa. So we call them the lagomorphas. That's an order, Lagomofa. So guys, thank you so much for sticking around and thank you so much for watching this video. So please, if we are making sense, don't forget to like our channel and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hitting that uh, bell icon will make sure that a notification will come whenever we drop a new video so that you are notified. Don't forget to share this channel and to talk about it. Thank you so much for watching. From me, the ultimate survivor, I love you guys.